This video shows how to configure vector control on the ABB General Purpose Drive ACS580 with assistance while the drive is on local control mode. Vector control is used for more accurate motor control in terms of speed and torque. In this video, we will demonstrate the drive with I.O. demo panel. Vector control requires entering correct motor nameplate values first. Vector control is easily configured with the Control Mode Assistant found in the Motor submenu under Primary Settings menu. In Vector Control, limits are set regarding the speed of the motor and the torque, which are the main controlled components in the motor control. In this video, we can use the values proposed by the drive. The functions shown here are dependent on the existing scalar settings. Speed reference can be limited to lower or higher speeds than the nominal speed of the motor. Constant speeds are also available. The drive is now on vector control, and the unit of reference value on the top left corner of the display has changed to RPMs. The green LED on the control panel starts to blink as a sign of warning. This warning can be viewed in Diagnostics menu. Help text elaborates the cause for warning and gives guidance on how to fix it. The drive will do an automatic ID run on the first start after the configuration of the vector control mode. The motor emits quite unusual sounds during the identification run. One should not be concerned, since this is normal. Once the setup and identification run are completed, the user has to give a new start command for the drive from the remote control location. Now the drive is set correctly to vector control and ready to be used. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.